Yo, what is up everybody? Welcome along to another video on the channel. Today we are flipping Flux Pavilion's base cannon into a base house, hopefully, fingers crossed, banger. It's gonna be crazy, it's gonna be full of base, it's gonna be housey, it's gonna be a good time. I'm pretty pumped. Basically, if you haven't heard base cannon, it was dropped by Flux Pavilion in 2010 and it went off. It still goes off, let's be fair. <laughs> So yeah, if you haven't heard it, here's a... I mean, you're gonna hear it throughout this video constantly, so get used to it. Let the bass count and kick it. Absolute banger. When you hear it live as well, oh boy! Yeah, we're gonna be working with that song. Um, a lot of cowbell, a lot of bass, that's pretty much everything I want in the song. I have run it through Isotope's RX to try and get out the drums so we can like isolate that bass and then do our own thing with it, but uh, it did an okay-ish job. As you can still hear a little bit of kick and snare in the background, but I mean, it's done a bloody good job compared to. Yeah, so we'll work with that. We'll chuck it into Simpler, add some drums, add some more bass. More cowbell. All right, the original tempo is 140. Um, I just realized I don't know what key the song is. A flat minor, G sharp. What? You can't be serious. You want F, F or F sharp or D. We are dropping it down to 126. We could slam it to 130 actually. Oh, it's gonna be so good when it's done. Now I just gotta do the whole thing of actually making it and remixing it until we get it to the point where it's done. <laughs> okay, so my brilliant idea, and hopefully this works, if not, well, there goes my idea, but um, that's, that's pretty much this idea as well. This whole video is based upon, so fingers crossed. I did it in a drum and bass thing recently while working on the new pack, <laughs> and um, it worked really well. So, warp complex, keep the right stretching. That's very annoying. Okay, so we want to go controls, frequency, envelope. Amount, 100. Oh, 70. Why does it stop at 72? That's so annoying. Can we LFO this? LFO filter. Okay, so we want the first note. There's gonna be a lot of automation to get this sounding right. Um, I'm thinking like a fake out, like a tear out, um, so... And then we flip it to something else. Maybe what I was thinking, need the envelope for the next bit, which is... Why didn't I just duplicate that? There we go. Uh, which is when the bass house kicks in, and we don't need the LFO. We what do we do? That might be a bit too uh, distorted, but fuck it. Um, what are we doing again? Don't need the automation for that. Okay, just the attack. different part of the sample. I reckon we just alternate between like the massive screechy sounds and then just these weird wobs that we throw in. Oh that's actually a good pen. I don't think it's possible to automate. Nah. Gonna be another duplication. <laughs> okay, so. Alright, uh, we don't want that last little note. No, we do want. Yeah, yeah, there we go. 
All right. And then cheeky drop off the end. Oh, this is sounding good. The thing is, the intro of the original is so sparsely like packed, we can just sample so much from it. So we might I might even crop up a basic structure here. Fuck it, we're gonna have this is gonna be the drop. We could just literally... Do we chuck the RX-1 for the build? It's gonna sound so much better with drums. <laughs> it sounds so weird at the moment. That sounds whack. <laughs> Everything whack. The way that he talks, whack. Reverb, bit of delay. Don't know really where I'm going with this at the moment. Bass, cannon, bass, cannon, bass, cannon, bass, bass. What? Bass, bass, cannon, bass, cannon, bass, cannon, bass, cannon, bass, cannon, bass. Yes. Although I want it more monotone. Bass, cannon, bass, cannon, bass, cannon, bass, cannon, bass. We want it to be G. Are we sure it's in G sharp minor? Base cannon, base cannon. Base cannon, base cannon, base, base cannon, base cannon, base cannon, base. I'm even on the right. Yeah. Okay. Freeze flat in that. It is a little bit crackly in the background, but lo fi. That was not a shot at lo fi at all. I have fun making lo fi. Yes. Oh, this is going to turn into a three hour long video. I can see it already. <laughs> Anyway, my idea is analog saw wave bass. Uh, the coder from seven, which is our saw wave bass. And get the sounding not uh, robotic -y. A little bit of OTT, help blend things together. Hopefully, I don't know. Massive pride to snare right at the end. Hell yes. Anyway, okay, we want the drums. Like I did in last week's video, merging future bass with house. Trap kicks work really well with bass house, so we're gonna do that again. That actually, normal kick. Okay, not the right kick, not the right kick. Okay, what was I saying? The kick is not quite right. Yeah, a little bit too beefy. Ah! Maybe, yeah. Okay, let's test this. And we want the swing, so command three, check our grid into triplets. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's the double fake out. That worked really well. Alright, this can be drum. What do you mean this can be? This is the this, these are the drums. Uh the bass sidechain. Oh yes. Okay, where is it? Small kicks two, that one. It needs more bass already. What the bass cannon is lacking in the bass. Now, we'll have a separate channel for the sub. This is gonna be sub, which is gonna of course be an operator. Normal sine wave, yes please. Uh, <laughs> yes please. And overdrive. I'm too lazy to go and edit the MIDI. I'm gonna chuck a pitch MIDI effect on it and pitch it down. Build up, build up, build up. Well, I kind of want to smack all this together now. A little bit of release on that, so it's not so stop starty. What do we envelope? Course one. Nah, attack, where's the attack? Little bit of pitch, never hurt. Oh, I already know the next section, damn it. This is actual drop, do 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 do. And then the uh, cowboy comes in with sidechain. Ooh, when, what, how? Okay, grab that. Is it even on the vocals? Probably not. Ah, oh, rookie mistake. And this has got too much bass as well. Oh no. Whatever this section is. We don't want the claps or no, just the claps and the main bit for that. Okay. <laughs> This can be a verse. Yeah, no, so lazy it dropped off the last two letters. And then this. Yeah, it needs to be wait. This probably this bass pan is probably good for the verse, not for the drop though. We want something hitting harder, essentially. Okay, so we can chuck it into this group. Bam! Take it off. Jesus, that's loud. I 
Okay, we're getting there, we're getting there. Get rid of that high hat. Oh, where are we? Three up. So, negative nine. Okay, so we want this to be mono, super distorted. And then something over the top of that, uh, some effect of some sort. Effects loop. Uh, three? Dude, 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 dude. Oh, this, hold up, hold up. Yeah, buddy. Ah, oh, it may not be heavy, guys, but it's so damn groovy. Oh, shit. Damn, this, I wanted it heavy and not... Ah, it's so funky right now, though. God, damn that rhythm. I need to save. Hold up. Come on, save. Imagine if I just wasn't recording this. Oh, that'd be a nightmare. Is it too cheeky adding more bass in between? <laughs> like I want like a screechy sound like that. What are we pitched up three? Okay, Isotope on the main channel with distortion was probably not one of my best ideas, but oh well. Yeah, there we go. That worked. Maybe substitute some of these. Are we back on triplets? No. Oh well, it is what it is, it's working. Three. Cheeky little. Like I said before, this bass pattern works really well as like a burst, but it's not quite heavy enough for the drop. So my workaround for that is chucking even more bass on it and hopefully it sticks, but like kind of retaining that original pattern. Right, I need to put some effects on this and listen to how it sounds so far. It is... Filth! Nah, we need a riser to come in as soon as that bit kicks in. Actually, that kind of looped in the background sound pretty sick. Now we have to find some side chain. There's some side chain. And we need a break from that there. There we go, that's more like it. Side chain on the fills. Has the sub got no side chain? Why is it? Wind, no side chain on the sub whatsoever. And we can increase the pitch envelope just for this bit. <laughs> we 
need to increase the side changes for this, but damn. <laughs> That is spicy. Wait, where's the um isolated bit? That might suit a bit better. Where's some side chain? And we want to ease up on the side chain when the fast kicks come in. Couple more points to do, soothe on the bass so it's not in your ears and screechy. And the second thing is Ozone Master. And we are done with this cheeky little bass house flip of bass cannon. Let's treat it properly. Anyway guys, it is time for the final lesson, start to finish. This has been a lot of fun, super funky. I wanted to go for a harder hitting sound, but I just, I don't know, it didn't turn out that way. It turned more funky. If you go in bass house, it's either funky or hard. If you can get in the middle, oh yeah. And this is leaning like, uh, it's more funky. <laughs> we substitute the hardness for the funky. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, playing it start to finish. Leave a like if you did enjoy the video. Flex Pavilion Bass Cannon. Streaming links and whatnot will be in the description. Absolute banger of a track. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next week and peace. <laughs>